This video demonstrates a lab-scale rotor dynamic experiment associated with a shaft disk system. Four different windows can be seen in this video. On the left, two different views of the rotating shaft and disk system is shown. The shaft disk system is supported by the rigid bearings, and, is driven by the motor. Motor speed controller is shown at the bottom right corner. At the top right corner waterfall graph is shown, which is recording the amplitude of vibration for different speeds, from the encoders. By using the motor control, the range of rotation speeds and the increment of speeds are chosen for the experiment. In this experiment the motor will drive the shaft from 100 rpm to 3000 rpm gradually, and after reaching 3000 rpm the motor speed will gradually slow down to 100 rpm. This simulates the starting up and shutting down of rotating machinery. For each driving speed the waterfall plot will show the amplitude of vibration. As the rotation speed nears the natural frequency of the system, the amplitude of the vibration increases. The maximum amplitude is observed near the 1900 rpm, which is the critical speed for the system. At this speed you will hear the large vibration produced by the system. In rotating machinery design, we would like to avoid such large amplitudes of vibration, which can be cause of fatigue, and may eventually lead to failure. To avoid such vibration, it is important to operate the rotating machine below its critical speed, or operate the machine far away from the critical speed. If such a situation cannot be avoided, we may choose appropriate bearings or we may design vibration controller, which will suppress the amplitude of vibration, whenever the rotating machinery crosses the critical speed. The amplitude of vibration measured in waterfall plot allows us to design controller for safe vibration amplitude as per the API standards. Note that such a vibration can also be observed during the slowing down phase. As you will notice, now the motor speed is slowing down from 3000 RPM to 100 RPM. During the slowdown of the motor speed, the natural frequency of the shaft will again interact with excitation frequency of the motor speed, and it will again cross the critical speed around 1900 RPM. During this crossing large vibration can be observed and heard. Once the experiment is complete the frequency response corresponding to each speed can be represented in the waterfall plot or color map plots for further analysis. As you will notice that both waterfall plot and color map plot provides the same information. In both the plots we also observe the order line. The order 1 line is clearly visible for this experiment, which is related to the inherent unbalance of the shaft disk system. The red spot in the color map corresponds to the critical speed zone, and highlights the range of speed at which large amplitude of vibration is experienced. This also can be seen in the waterfall plots. Therefore, for a given rotating machinery, its critical speed and the vibration level can be obtained by run-up or run-down tests. If the rotating system has more natural frequencies for a speed range than more than one critical speeds can be observed during the experiment, as shown in the figure here. Also if auxiliary units such as gears, pulley or other rotating components are connected to the main shaft their vibration can be observed as a different order line, as shown in the figure here. We hope with this demonstration you have a better understanding of the rotor dynamic system.